Hi and welcome to yet another C tutorial. In today's tutorial we're going to talk about the unary operator. Now what's the unary operator? It's basically increment and decrement. Okay, and then e increment and decrement can be divided into pre-increment or decrement and also post-increment and decrement. So let's look at a example. We're going to create a variable called value 1 and we're going to set value 1 to be equal to 1 or let's set it to 5 and I'm going to create another variable called value 2 and I'm going to set it to 2. Okay, now what is the function of increment and decrement? Basically when we increment something, so let's quickly do a quick printf statement here, value 1 is equal to, and I'm going to display the value of value 1, we will find that the value 1 is equal to 5. Okay, so we're just confirming, there we have it just confirming that the value is 5 then if we would say value 1 increment semicolon and redisplay the value of uh, value 1 by using another printf statement so let's just add new lines there before we do this and we run this you will see that value 1 has increased from the previous printf with 1 and that is the basic functionality of increment. Now the inverse is also true if we have decrement and we run this you will see that the value has decreased with 1. Now we use increment and decrement quite often when we um, talk about counter controlled repetition and also um, when we apply it in counter controlled repetition in various structures for instance the for loop or in a while loop so it's a very important thing to understand now another thing that we need to understand is um, let's quickly jump back we can either increment after the fact or we can also decrement or increment before. Now what is the difference? So when we increment in the front, um, we first increment and then we display the value um, if we are displaying the value and if we put it at the back we first display the value. Let's we just take that out. We display the value and then we do the increment. But in, if you look at this um, line of code here. It's not going to make a difference if we do it beforehand or afterwards because this is a standalone um, statement. So value 1 is definitely going to increase and there's nothing that's going to um, change if we do it pre or post. It's definitely going to change of 1. But incre increment if we do it in post or Afterwards, um, in, or if we do it pre and if we do it post, when we use it in a printf statement, for instance, we can clearly see what's the difference between pre and post. So we can just, just focus on increment because decrement we also know what's being done there. But now we're going to do a pre-increment and then we're going to do a post-increment. So what would be the values? So let's quickly save this and build and run and see what would be our output. So if we drag it here, you will see 5 is equal or value is 1 is equal to 5. And then when we display value 1, we do a pre-increment on the first printf on value 1. So what that means is before we use value 1, we're first going to increment and then we're going to display. 
but in the next line where we have value 1 is equal to something, we first go and display the value and then increment. So just to prove, we're going to quickly duplicate this one for a last time. And we're not going to do increment post or pre. We're just going to display the value. And now you would clearly see that when we do pre-increment, we increment value 1 with um, value one's value with one and that would be five to six so we display six and when we do post increment we first display the value and then we increment and then on the next print if we didn't do any post or pre increments so our value is then seven because the value changed after this statement even if we didn't display it it still changed so we will be left with 7 then afterwards. And that is basically the unary operator. We have increment and decrement and we can use it um, as a pre-increment or decrement and we can also use it as a post-increment or decrement. That's it for now. Until next time.